it's an interesting time in the market right now. We're coming off the worst week uh, for the uh, U.S. stock market of 2024. So obviously, uh, this is a, a perfect time to kind of go over, you know, how to find uh, stock winners, and we'll be doing that with the help of Investing Pro's Fair Value Tool, uh, something which I uh, myself use in my daily uh, trading and investing uh, strategies. Uh, so again, for those uh, who don't know me, uh, my name is Jesse Cohen. I'm a, a senior financial analyst here at investing.com. Been with the company since uh, 2010, so uh, uh, very proud. You know, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a while. Uh, for those who know, I'm uh, active on Twitter. Uh, feel free to reach out, uh, Jesse Cohen INV. And if you have any comments or uh, remarks after uh, the webinar, um, also shoot me an email at Jesse at investing.com, um, and I'll, I'll be uh, be on the lookout for that to get back to you. So before uh, really uh, jumping in uh, to the session, here's uh, just a quick breakdown of uh, what to expect. Uh, you know, we'll be obviously kicking things off by uh, just the introduction into the fair value tool, what it is, the features and the benefits. Uh, we'll then delve into how to use uh, fair value to avoid uh, you know, buying overpriced stocks and vice versa. I'll probably show you uh, a couple of uh, neat tricks uh, and how to find undervalued companies uh, as well. Um, afterwards, I, I, you know, as a token of appreciation for everybody uh, taking the time to join this morning, there will be an exclusive webinar gift offer uh, from investing.com. So stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully we'll have time. I think uh, at the end, I'll uh, uh, save some time, show you guys how I use fair value in live action, uh, kind of a, a quick live demo. And uh, then of course, uh, again, Q&A, any questions you might have. And uh, again, if you have any stocks that you might want uh, for me to highlight uh, during uh, or at, during the live session, uh, during the uh, Q&A at the end, uh, you know, drop that, uh, those in as well. I'll obviously uh, be covering uh, some of the big names. Uh, so if you have any uh, anything else in mind, uh, drop that in there uh, as well. So uh, let's uh, jump into it. Now, before we do that, obviously, let's take a step back and kind of realize, you know, what is going on in the market right now? What factors are driving uh, the uh, price action? Uh, like I mentioned uh, at the start, we're coming off the worst week in the market uh, for uh, uh, 2024. And uh, really, the uh, main driver is, you know, the uncertainty surrounding uh, the Fed policy rates, uh, you know, Recently, we have seen a rate cut expectations come down significantly. You know, at the start of the year, we were expecting as many as seven cuts, uh, with the first one uh, uh, supposed to come in March. Well, uh, here we are in April, and uh, zero cuts so far. And as as far as it looks uh, today, this morning, um, you know, we uh, markets are now pricing in only two cuts uh, this year, with uh, June kind of looking iffy at the moment. Uh, and uh, September uh, will probably uh, be, uh, you know, as of the moment, what the markets are expecting. September could be the date for the first uh, Fed rate cut. However, I myself, you know, I've been pounding uh, the table recently. You know, I expect zero rate cuts in 2024, uh, which mainly is due to the fact of reaccelerating inflation, which brings me uh, to the second point. Uh, we have seen a pickup in inflation uh, recently, uh, and uh, the, you know something which uh, Fed Chairman uh, Jerome Powell is not pleased uh, to see. Um, you know we do know that inflation peaked at above nine percent. It's back to around three and a half percent as of last month. Uh, but again, that last mile bringing inflation back down to the Fed's two percent target. Uh, you know that last one percent. Uh, considered by economists to be a lot more difficult uh, to bring down uh, at compared to bringing it down from 9% to 3%. So we'll be on the lookout for that. There's a big CPI inflation report on uh, Wednesday, uh, which comes out. Uh, so again, uh, you know, check up on that on investing.com. Wednesday morning should be a big day in the market. Uh, recently, we ha have seen uh, a recent flare up in geopolitical turmoil. Uh, you know, of course, the issues in the Middle East have been going on 
for several months already, uh, but only recently have we seen a pickup in uh, rhetoric between Israel and Iran. Uh, obviously, um, you know, Iran is a major oil producer, one of the biggest in the world, and a regional superpower. So any uh, conflict between uh, those two countries could evolve into, uh, uh, you know, perhaps a broader uh, a war um, and, of course, could cause oil supply disruptions, which, of course, would then perhaps see oil jump to as high as $100 per barrel um, and surging oil prices then feed inflation expectations. So it's this whole, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a cycle, uh, if you will, um, you know, a, a circle, the Fed policy uncertainty due to reaccelerating in inflation, the geopolitical turmoil, which can then see oil prices uh, jump up to, 100%, uh, to $100, and, uh, and then we go back to square one, perhaps even the Fed might be forced to even hike rates at least one or two more times. So again, uh, there's a lot of macroeconomic and geopolitical factors uh, uh, right now, which are creating uncertainty and volatility in the market. So we're all looking uh, for, you know, to gain that edge. How can we gain that edge in uh, the market? Uh, so of course, that's where investing pro fair value comes into play you know we don't want to obviously uh overpay for a uh, a stock and uh, then uh, see it uh you know fall back down to its intrinsic value uh you know what we do want is of course you know find those underpriced winners uh and then ride it higher i'll show you a uh an example from my own uh personal uh, investment uh, journey from, uh, I think it was just a few, uh, late last year. I'll uh, be uh, delving deeper into that uh, as uh, the uh, session uh, progresses. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, so again, you know, this is what every investor wants. It's not always like this, obviously. It doesn't always work out this way, but buying an underpriced uh, stock and doing that with the help of the uh, fair value tool on Investing Pro uh, obviously helps you easily identify that and we'll uh, be uh, getting into you know, how exactly this tool can be used uh, to your advantage. Uh, you know, it lets you obviously quickly and very easily see if a stock is undervalued or overvalued. You know, don't have to dig too deep into the models. Uh, you know, Investing Pro does all that hard work for you in order for you to easily identify you know, when the right time is to buy or sell a stock. Uh, so, you know, up until this point, you know, any, any questions, is everything clear? Um, you know, show of hands or, or, you know, you can type in in the uh, uh, question box here. Is there anybody here already who is a uh, Investing Pro subscriber? Um, you know, let's uh, start uh, with that. Um, yes, there will be a discount, please. Uh, uh, there will be a discount, of course. Uh, you know, people are already asking here in uh, the uh, set in the comment box. So yeah, that's what I said when I mentioned, uh, you know, having uh, the investing.com special offer for you webinar attendees. We will have something that here for you, obviously. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, so is there anything, uh, you know, you want me to uh, pretty much, um, I think it's been a pretty straightforward so far. Let's uh, jump on uh, to uh, our first real world example, uh, you know, by uh, let's all comment here in the question uh, box. I tried to blur it out uh, to the best of uh, uh, the, my ability or the blur image software ability. Uh, hopefully you don't see what it is here. It's NVIDIA, you know, obviously the hottest stock in the market, you know, the AI poster boy, the darling of the market uh, up what, 80% just this year alone. Um, I think it's up uh, more than 250% over the last 12 months. Show of hands, I will not show of hands, show of virtual hands, if you will. Is NVIDIA overpriced or undervalued at its current uh, uh, price above? Uh, the, as of this morning, NVIDIA is trading at, uh, to be exact, eight hundred and seventy nine dollars and ninety four cents um about a hundred dollars off its record high uh so you know let, let's see some comments here um is nvidia overpriced or undervalued at eight hundred and seventy nine dollars uh, where it is trading 
as of Monday morning. Yes, crystal clear. Uh, all right, so, you know, yes. I, so there are a lot of yeses here. Uh, you know, I think for the most part, many can, uh, can agree that, uh, you know, considering the incredible rally in its uh, uh, share price over the past year, despite it being the leader in, you know, the AI industry, um, you know, the, the, the future sale revenue of what NVIDIA expects, obviously it's been mind blowing. Um, but yes, despite that, despite uh, the, uh, the uh, prospects in AI, the answer is, Yes, NVIDIA is indeed overvalued. And, you know, just by showing you here the fair value uh, tab on Investing Pro, we see that the fair value intrinsic price stands at $783. Uh, again, we're at 879 this morning. So that's more than $100 uh, of downside potential in the share price implying about 11 percent uh, uh downside so you know right now perhaps would not be the best time uh for someone uh to uh perhaps uh, you know buy some nvidia stock considering the uh fair value models imply uh you know significant anything a double digit uh, a correction lower is a uh, pretty uh, significant you don't want to take a loss like that um, so really, in, the, the power of fair value uh, tools on Investing Pro is not only to show you, you know, when to buy the undervalued stock, and we'll get to that later as well. But first and uh, uh, first and foremost, you know, protect your capital, uh, avoid the risk of having any unnecessary losses. Uh, and right now, if you would ask me. Uh, buying Nvidia at $879 would be a uh, you know the the wrong move to make, um, and perhaps you should wait for further downside for it to correct a bit lower um, and hit back that $780 uh, uh, level. Now, what you can do is you can add Nvidia to your watch list on Investing Pro. Uh, this is a a tip which I use um, uh, myself. Anytime I see a stock like this, which uh, implies uh, downside potential, I'll add it to my watch list portfolio on investing.com and create a custom alert uh, uh, for myself, uh, a custom price alert whenever shares hit that target, hit that level, uh, I get a, a customized price alert to my phone. And um, you know, then I can of course act upon that whether uh, that be uh, uh, to, to buy shares at that moment or to uh, uh, wait anything at uh, you know your own discretion but just knowing that uh, can help you avoid making uh, you know any unnecessary losses protecting your capital is uh, you know even more important than seeing gains in the market so again this is where uh, fair value uh, uh, really helps you out without even doing too much of the work um, I, you know, you guys could see uh, towards the bottom of the screen here, uh, you know, it takes into account 13 models, which I'll get into a bit later. So really all the hard work is pretty much done for you uh, by Investing Pro, um, you know, powered by AI and, you know, over 25 years of financial information, financial data and balance sheets, earnings reports and so forth. So there's a lot of uh, uh, history for the models to play around with and uh, get the best results. So, you know, now that I kind of showed you uh, the how NVIDIA, uh, the NVIDIA model um, uh, pretty much, uh, let me see, yes, in, Investing Pro does cover European markets. Uh, you know, I'm glad someone asked that because I will uh, be showing uh, examples later on in the uh, session during the live demo. So keep those coming, you know, keep the questions coming, keep uh, the uh, stock picks, uh, stock tickers, you can drop those in. And um, uh, then at the end of during the live demo, I'll uh, show I'll, um, whatever I could get to, of course, uh, I'll present those on the screen. So keep those coming as well. So the investing pro fair value feature in this uh, specific example, you know, pretty much it jumps right out to you. 23% downside potential. 
Um, you know, so without even knowing what the stock is, you know, without even knowing what the business um, or in the industry in which uh, they uh, take part in, um, I would know that this name would probably be something, uh, a stock which I would want to avoid, um, you know, downside uh, of more than 20% is, uh, you know, pretty significant. And what you see over there in the uncertainty uh, uh, tab is how the investing pro models, uh, you know, calculate the level of a certainty or uncertainty in regards to the fair value models. So for example, you know, there will be uh, uh, you know, a lot of um, you know, high growth uh, tech stocks um, where, where, where their business models are uh, you know, vary and you know, they're still in high growth mode. So sometimes the fair value, fair value models uh, you know, need to readjust, recalculate, um, whether it be to the upside or to the downside. Uh, you know, we've seen several cases uh, companies like Roku, Twilio, uh, Coinbase. So a lot of those high growth companies, which uh, for the most part are still not profitable, uh, you'll see a high uh, level of uncertainty. But in this specific case, you know, 22% downside, low uncertainty, which means that the models are pretty sure uh, in, in, in where they see the stock uh, going and uh, the uh, price target moving lower. So that is another helpful uh, uh, feature for you to kind of uh, you know, gauge how certain the models are. Obviously companies uh, where the uncertainty level is uh, rather high, you know, going back to Nvidia, I think the um, model, the uncertainty over there was uh, medium, if I'm not mistaken, medium, yes. So uh, again, so with NVIDIA, for example, you know, there's still a lot of X factors which analysts uh, need to uh, take into account. The models need to uh, take into account as well. So in uh, uh, this specific example, NVIDIA being the AI, you know, this leader in this unknown market, uncertainty level is medium. However, this specific example, uh, the uncertainty level is low, which means that the models are pretty sure that uh, the uh, price target is accurate. And what this does, you know, it removes the complexity from the valuation models uh, and, and gives a clear guidance of when a stock is undervalued or overpriced. Now, Investing Pro Fair Value uses the same uh, models which uh, uh, analysts at high, you know, the, the big hedge funds and the big name investment banks use to determine their own fair value estimates for stocks. Uh, so again, you know, the, 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 the sheer power of the fair value tool, you know, something which I believe in very, very much, um, you know, having this service uh, kind of level the playing field for in favor of the retail investor, uh, you know, going up against these big institutional hedge funds, you know, the big, uh, you know, the Goldman Sachs's of the world, the Morgan Stanley's, the uh, JP Morgan's, um, you know, so having this tool really in your arsenal um, can, can, can make a world of a difference, helping you easily identify undervalued stocks, you know, invest smarter, and most importantly, simplify your trading strategy. It takes the emotion out of it and uh, you know, helps you come up with ways to, again, not only make money in the market by finding bargain and undervalued stocks with significant upside potential, but also minimizing the risk of potential losses, uh, you know, helping you to avoid losing money in the market. So it really goes both ways. Uh, protecting capital, and uh, also, of course, seeing uh, your uh, capital appreciate as well. Um, you know, that's the uh, one-two punch for a successful uh, trader. So again, really using uh, the financial modeling technology, um, similar to that used by the big investment banks, uh, kind of provides an edge uh, to the retail investor, to the mom and pop trader who doesn't really have the time to, uh, you know, dig in into all these models, uh, read the balance sheets, um, you know, and, and, and so forth. Just having this uh, uh, access to the tool helps you unlock uh, professional grade analysis in order to easily identify undervalued opportunities 
and stocks which are overpriced. Now, again, I'm, I'm not going to get into too much uh, detail because uh, the, the, the models are kind of, uh, you know, complicated. Uh, over 17 different models uh, go into the calculation of uh, the uh, fair value uh, price targets, uh, whether it be, uh, you know, valuation uh, ratios, uh, P, uh, price to earnings, price to book, price to sales, uh, obviously revenue growth rates. Uh, profit estimates, whether they're uh, uh, up to the upside or downward uh, revisions. So uh, again, if, uh, if, a, if a company offers a dividend, uh, so that would be uh, into the um, kind of into the calculations as well, uh, taken into account. So really, there's a plethora of models. Um, pretty much, you'll see it uh, in the example. Like for example, uh, in Nvidia, there are 13 models for Nvidia. Um, you know, whether it uh, doesn't, uh, whether the other four are not applicable to it uh, due to uh, certain valuations. Uh, and again, this is all something which you can click on. And I'll show you this uh, during the uh, live demo. But uh, having that uh, uh, pretty much uh, stand out to you, um, you know, several, uh, you know, all the hard work is pretty much done by the investing pro uh, uh, models, the AI and everything that goes uh, in behind that. So if you really want to uh, dig deeper into some of this, this is all on the website. Uh, in um, you know, all you have to do is uh, you know, there's even an example. Um, there's even an explanation on the Investing Pro Fair Value Model tab itself in Investing Pro, and I'll show you that as well. Uh, so again, there's a lot of different models taken into account. Um, some of them are are are, are you know models which only investment banks use uh, others are models which uh, uh, mainstream uh, analysts uh, use as well uh, but at the end of the day uh, we do all the hard work for you in order to derive intrinsic value estimates uh, through discounted cash flow modeling uh, you know diversification of uh, qualitative assessments of competitive position management quality uh, so uh, you know for example a company has a a long serving uh, ceo uh, you know we've seen that with uh, uh, nvidia with uh, jensen wong you know pretty much a rock star ceo um, you know tesla as well elon musk he's become a uh, sort of a uh, uh, you know a, devi a divisive figure almost provocative now um, with uh, the way he's been handling himself in uh, the past uh, you know 12 to 24 months since he took over uh, Twitter or X so again there's a lot of uh, different models but at the end of the day what you need to know is all the hard work is done for you by investing pro in order for you to really I easily identify you know what the stock is uh, uh, what is, is really intrinsically worth um, and that way of course helping you both make money and save money in the market uh, anything uh, which you'd like me to uh, go over again up until this point you know that was a kind of um, you know from from here it will only get you know a little bit of an information overload uh, you know I spoke about the uh, the, the different valuation models and uh, uh, you know what it is uh, essentially um, you know for uh, let me, I'm seeing a, a lot of these uh, questions. So, you know, thanks a lot for uh, for that. I will have time at the end to uh, get back to those. It should be an interesting uh, uh, demo session at the end. Um, so pretty much transparency builds confidence. What the, uh, the, the models, uh, you know, the future predictions, this is all back tested with over 25 years of uh, financial performance um, so obviously you know there's a lot of uh, uh, scams out there uh, you know on Twitter you'll uh, run into a you know a handful of a uh, uh, trading accounts which offer uh, these uh, services and uh, you know you end up uh, uh, paying for a service which at the end is uh, you know not worth the money and you uh, you know you feel scammed at the end and uh, kind of duped and you know something like that would obviously have a negative experience for a uh, new investor and as a result you know someone who had that type of experience would probably might even drop out from trading in the market 
and you know deciding that uh, you know this is not for for them so you know having this tool backed by investing.com uh you know the investing pro service uh which uh, which was launched a couple of years ago already you know the the, the 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 reason why i'm so passionate about it is you know i've been using it myself in my own uh, uh trading uh, uh decisions my investment journey and you know i've i've, I've seen positive results so uh you know at the end of the day uh you know ha seeing the uh, p and l rise seeing your 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 profit rise your losses go down obviously is a great uh, feeling and uh, you know we just want to give back to our users level the playing field between the uh you know major uh investment banks the big institutional investors and you know kind of give that edge back uh to the retail trader and uh to the uh you know the day trader who works a nine to five and doesn't have time to really go uh over the models uh so again this is something uh you know pretty much designed and tailor made exactly uh for um you know these type of investors so again all the models are back tested over 25 years of experience uh you know there, I myself have experienced over several occasions, and I'll highlight. Uh, I think the next couple, next couple of slides, I'll highlight uh, um, one of my best trades of 2024 or of 2023, uh, and I'll show you uh, exactly how I did that. Now let's uh, move on to the next feature, which um, again for me is a game changer. Uh, you know. Just having access to investing pro fair value anywhere, anytime, from any device, uh, you know, whether I'm at home on my uh, computer or I'm, uh, uh, you know, on my laptop, sitting at a, uh, you know, the local, the, the uh, local coffee shop, or, you know, if I'm uh, with the, the, the kids at the playground, I'll have it on my phone, always available. Uh, so really having uh, the ease of access uh both on the web on mobile and in the app really uh, allows you to uh stay on top of you know where the market is going where the stocks uh are are heading uh that are on your watch list um you know what the price targets are saying what the fair value estimates are saying uh so again having that ease of access is really one of the best selling points you know, I've got three little kids right now, you know, my, my, myself, and they're all running around uh, between, uh, you know, the playground or uh, soccer practice or, uh, you know, whatever uh, my daughter has uh, uh, dance lessons. So just having investing pro fair value available at my fingertips while I'm out on the go, you know, running errands or I'm with the kids or whatever, you know, that is something, uh, you know, worth all the uh all the time and effort uh, for something like that to have the power to unlock the fair value estimates um basically at you know in your pocket at all times so again really really great feature one of the best uh, uh benefits of having access uh, to that so there's a famous uh, quote by Warren Buffett, of course, uh, you know, several famous quotes by the Oracle of Omaha, the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, widely considered uh, one of the best investors of all time. Uh, and, you know, when it comes to risk, he says that it comes from not knowing what you are doing. And, you know, pretty much that can be applied to everything we do in life, um, you know, preparing in advance, uh will obviously minimize uh you know what the negative outcome of that specific uh occasion will be and in investing in trading the negative outcome of course is seeing a trade kind of go against uh your thesis um see the losses pile up you know there's another famous quote saying uh you'd rather be out the market uh and 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 hoping to be in then be in the market hoping to be out uh you know and that's when uh, the, the market kind of goes against you kind of turns against you uh we did see that last week with uh, uh pretty much a, a sell-off on thursday as a result of rising geopolitical tensions and with the stock market heading into what are the most weak months on the calendar year uh you know seasonally weak a month sell in may and go away 
is approaching. Uh, the June Fed rate meeting uh, has the potential to really kind of reset expectations uh, regarding uh, Fed rate cuts and the policy for the rest of 2024. You know, I have that date circled on my calendar. Uh, you know, that's going to be a big one. If Fetcher Powell comes out hawkish in June and signals no rate cuts in 2024, then in my belief, uh, we will probably see, um, you know, a sell-off in the second half of the year. So really knowing what to expect, you know, taking the advice of Warren Buffett, uh, knowing what to expect would obviously minimize uh, any risks associated associated with taking any unnecessary losses. Um, protecting capital, you know, I've mentioned that a few times already. Protecting capital, not losing money, is just as important as uh, uh, seeing, uh, you know, your your uh, account appreciate. So again, very, you know, something to keep in mind. So what do I do uh, myself? How do I know when the best time to buy or sell is? Well, first of all, anytime I have a, uh, a new, you know, I'm, let's say I'm on Twitter and there's a, a ticker which is trending, um, you know, I see it uh, come up in my feed uh, multiple times. I'll just hop on to Investing Pro, whether it be on my uh, uh, laptop at home uh, on, on my desktop or on the go on my phone, I'll just type in the ticker and, um, you know, first, my first stop before I make any further decision is to see whether the stock is overpriced, uh, overpriced or undervalued, uh, you know, vice versa. If it's overpriced, you know, I put it aside immediately. If it's a name I'm interested in, I'll add it to my watch list and have it, uh, uh, you know, I'll monitor that, of course, through the watch list uh, in the days and weeks to come. Uh, but I will, would likely not make any uh, decision uh, to uh, buy the stock at that moment. Um, however, if the stock is undervalued, then I would, of course, take the opportunity uh, to make, uh, you know, a, a, a few more uh, uh, quick picks on Investing Pro, uh, you know, we do offer um, uh, pro tips, uh, which of course, uh, I, we did a, a webinar on that uh, last month, uh, which I uh, delivered. You probably find that on YouTube. Um, so pro tips is another helpful feature. When you package that all together, um, you know, immediately in less than two minutes, less than two minutes of work, I can make an informed decision of whether I would want to purchase the stock or, uh, uh, you know, pass on it and uh, add it to my watch list. Less than two minutes. Uh, so really that is, uh, uh, you know, the first stop I go uh, whenever I have a new, uh, uh, you know, investment idea or whatever come to mind, I'll first and foremost head over to Investing Pro and uh, see what uh, the fair value is. One second, let me uh, grab a uh, sip here. Hey, saw. Uh, investing.com cup the bull and the bear and i think we've uh, been telling uh management that they should start selling these uh, i think they will uh sell like hotcakes anyways uh let's go to a next uh to our next real world example you know it's monday morning stock market is still not open um we're about a uh less than an hour to go until markets open for the week and tesla at the moment is a uh, trading according to the fair value estimate on investing pro is trading at a bargain valuation because it implies 12 percent upside you know taking a look at uh tesla and where it ended last week you know it's been the worst performer um of the magnificent seven uh, so far this year one of the worst performers uh on the s p 500 this year uh, down was 33 percent just a mind-boggling number, really ugly performance uh, for Tesla so far in 2024. It lost 6% last week um, when uh, after they delivered, uh, you know, just horrible Q1 delivery numbers, which I actually highlighted as my uh, stock to sell uh, for, uh, for that week uh, in my uh, investing.com uh, buy sell series uh, of articles. So, you know, is now the time to turn bullish on Tesla? Um, you know, trading, it closed the week on Friday at 164.90. Uh, 
Your fair value price target estimate stands at 184.56. So that is 12% upside, uh, about $20 per share. And, um, you know, it's actually up to over 2% this morning in pre-market trade. So in pre-market, it's trading at 168 um, already. Now, did fair value know that Elon Musk uh, was going to uh, announce the robo-taxi after markets closed on Friday? Probably not. Uh, however, the investing uh, models, uh, 12 in total um, for uh, Tesla, the investing models obviously uh, saw something um, and predicting 12% upside. So it's already up 2% uh, uh, this morning in pre-market trade. Uh, so, you know, something to keep an eye on. Tesla, in my opinion, is due for a bounce. You know, again, 30% uh, uh, down in 2024. Uh, just is, is uh, obviously there's been a recent valuations in uh, the EV sector. Uh, you know, Tesla is now kind of being valued like a car maker as opposed to a tech company, um, which uh, was how investors kind of uh, looked at the, at the, at the uh, Elon Musk led automaker, uh, you know, just uh, up until, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. So is Tesla due for a bounce? The fair value estimates say yes. 12% uh, upside, hey, 12% upside is uh, pretty good in, uh, in uh, this market. Uh, so in my opinion, right now, Tesla is a name which should be on your radar. Do for a bounce, uh, you know, I, the, 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 the level of selling in the name. Um, at this point, I think all the bad news is kind of priced in and any further downside would be unjustified. Uh, you know, analysts are even more optimistic than the fair value models, um, you, know, you know, which we can see here, the analyst target is a 196. Um, so that is uh, $12 above the investing pro fair value model. Uh, so again, the, the price targets are kind of showing that the next level should be to the upside. It's trading at 164.90 as of the close on Friday, uh, near a 52 week low. So, you know, you kind of need to ask yourself at this point, um, you know, is, is, has the pullback run too far and Tesla due for a bounce? Uh, so I think, yes. What does, any, what does anybody else think? Is Tesla due for a bounce? Let, let's see. Let's see what the crowd consensus is here. You know, I might even take that into account um, for, you know, whether I would want to uh, purchase Tesla this morning. Is Tesla overvalued? Or, is, or do you agree that, uh, te that Tesla has 12% uh, upside uh, potential? What do you think? Well, yes, it is overhyped. It is overhyped. Obviously, Tesla is one of the uh, you know most mainstream names uh, in the market. Uh, so obviously, it is overhyped. But again, it's taken such a beating uh, over the past twelve months uh, that that I think that for the most part, you know, this could be an opportunity uh, for a contrarian buy. Uh, which I think let's let's jump into uh, my uh, next slide here because right? I just want to show you guys. Again, this was one of my best trades of uh, 2023. Um, again, this is pretty much my process, how I identify undervalued and overvalued stocks very easily, um, leveraging the investing pro fair, fair value estimates. That's always my first stop. Uh, I take into account the upside potential uh, and the level of uncertainty. Again, if it has a high level of uncertainty, uh, you know, the uh, fair value models, uh, imply that uh, they are less sure as opposed to uh, companies with a low level of uncertainty. So that is something which I take into account as well, but only if it's a, uh, you know, one of those high growth uh, tech stocks, uh, which, um, which are not profitable at the moment, uh, but their growth, you know, the, 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 the growth that they're recording uh, is, is over 50%, for example. So that would be something I take into account. Uh, I would then compare, of course, the current price 
to the investing pro price model. Uh, so what we just did with Tesla, uh, you know, it closed at 164.90 uh, on uh, Friday. The fair value estimates uh, call for 186. So that implies 12% upside, $20 per share. Uh, so if I want to uh, perhaps, uh, you know, uh, make a trade via the options market uh, and, and buy some uh, outdated calls or just straight up, you know, purchase, you know, the stock itself, um, and 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 reap the benefits of uh, the uh, expected appreciation. Again, you know, we'll we'll only find out, of course, uh, in the uh, coming weeks how Tesla does. It does have earnings uh, come out later this month, so a potential catalyst. You know, like I said earlier, a lot of the bad news has been priced in. Uh, you know, if Elon Musk comes out with some sort of announcement during the earnings call later this month. Uh, you know, we already saw him on Friday kind of leak something about the uh, robo taxi. So anything like that could really jumpstart the stock. So that is something which I, uh, of course, immediately pay attention to. Um, yeah, it does have earnings uh, results in 15 days. Um, kind of, I think that is the last week of April. Um, so that is a, a perhaps a near term catalyst. Um, so then by that, of course, I easily identify the overpriced stocks and which are the undervalued ones. And I avoid the overhyped, overhyped stocks, uh, put them aside, add them to my watch list, uh, you know, keep them uh, uh, for, for later. I monitor their, uh, their performance over time. And if it is undervalued, and I like the overall picture of what uh, the other factors on Investing Pro are telling me, then I will make an informed decision. And this all takes me you know, less than five minutes. So just, uh, uh, you know, considering the amount of time, how something, how this process would have taken me, let's say in uh, 2005, uh, you, you know, to how, you know, jump, you know, fast forward 20 years or 19 years, and it, it takes me five minutes in 2024, it would have taken me five hours in 2005. And in 1995, this would probably have taken you, you know, five days. So again, just the way the whole process has become simplified, um, you know, makes the whole investment uh, uh, strategy so much easier. So really, just really hammering this uh, home, you know, I just want to make ever sure that the, uh, the main points of avoiding buying the overvalued stocks, uh, you know, then help make the informed decisions just by looking at the fair value price estimate. Um, and most importantly, timing the market. You know, the way we just saw uh, the NVIDIA example, where it implies 12% downside, you know, that the way I would time the stock purchase uh, for that would be to pass on it right now and add it to my watch list. If there is a correction, like in, like a fair value predicts, um, then I would be a buyer. Um, vice versa with uh, Tesla, what we saw, uh, sure, the stock has taken a beating, trading at a 52 week low. Uh, however, the fair value of uh, price target estimates imply 12% upside. Uh, you know, sometimes you need to be a contrarian in the market, um, you know, kind of buy when others are, are, are fearful and are, are ru running away from the stock. Uh, you know, over, overall, in my experience throughout my own uh, trading career, those have turned out to be uh, some of my best uh, uh, investments. So I make informed decisions that way, improve the returns overall, and just as importantly, lower the risk of uh, you know making any unnecessary losses uh, and, and and taking any unnecessary hits, uh, at, like buying Nvidia uh, this morning when when the uh, fair value uh, target implies uh, double digit downside. So again, you know I think uh, for the most part. I've kind of hammered those points across, um, you know, people, you know, I think for the most part, um, you know, I think most of you know, no, no questions, or if there are any questions, I think like now would be the time before I start uh, jumping into the uh, live demo. Um, and again, I th th there will be a recording afterwards, which will be sent out if you signed up uh, to your with your email, whatever email you signed up with, uh, you'll get the recording of this webinar uh, uh, straight uh, to the email uh, after it ends. 
So you will have the opportunity to kind of uh, go over some of this information again, if anything isn't clear. Um, and again, shoot me an email or reach out in the Twitter DMs uh, and I'll clarify any points uh, as well. So, you know, I spoke about my best trade of 2023 and, you know, I did this with the help of uh, fair value, uh, the fair value models, uh, a very helpful uh, way to screen for stocks. And I'll show you this uh, uh, coming up is to use the investing pro screener uh, to screen for stocks with significant fair value upside. Uh, so that specific uh, month, and I'm taking you back to late October, 2023, um, you know, it was a kind of volatile time in the market. Uh, inflation was uh, reaccelerating. Uh, it was uncertain what the Fed was going to do uh, in regards to uh, uh, interest rates. And I think there were some fears surrounding the banking sector once again, well, which were uh, bubbling up again uh, following the collapse pretty much a year ago of uh, uh, Silicon Valley Bank, uh, Signature Bank, and um, you know the, the, the Credit Suisse debacle. So using the power of the Investing Pro, Investing Pro Stock Screener, I screen for stocks with over 50% upside potential, right? One of the names that came up with was Zion's Bank Corporation. 65% upside to be exact. Uh, the, the day the, uh, the uh, my entry price uh, uh, on Zion, uh, the day of the trade, the, uh, which I made on October 22, 2023, was $29.45. Now, the fair value upside implying as of that morning implied 65% upside with a fair value price target of $49. Right, twenty dollar difference in uh, uh, the uh, current market value at the time and the fair value price estimate. Now there are a lot of uh, 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 you know worries surrounding the banking sector, which I mentioned, uh, and a, a lot of investors were kind of uh, steering clear of many of these names. However, you know it was a uh, uh, like I said volatile time in the market and. Not only did the fair value uh, price target estimate match up to what I was looking for in uh, the stocks, which uh, showed up on the screener, but the pro tips was positive as well. Uh, you know, I did some research. It has over 400 branches, over 1 million customers. It's based in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, so really, many of the fears surrounding the regional banks really didn't apply to Zion's. Um, you know, it it, it it was punished unfairly, uh, in my opinion, at that time. And, uh, you know, in less than three months, um, I entered the trade in October and I exited the trade, uh, I think it was late December. So, you know, less than three months, it was, you know, two months to be exact. Um, I sold out at $46, which was just below the fair value price target. For a total of a, a gain of 56% in just about two months. And this was really all done um, with the help of Investing Pro, the fair value, the pro tips, the whole package, um, you know, the, 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 the screener itself, um, which, which, which helped me filter for those companies, for those type of companies that had those uh, uh, attributes and met the criteria which I was looking for. Uh, so again, this turned out to be one of my best trades of 2023. And, you know, without Investing Pro, I probably would not have even considered, uh, you know, a, a, a bank name during that period, uh, just because a lot of the headlines were so negative. Investor sentiment was, uh, was bearish. It was trading at a 52-week low at the time. And, uh, you know, probably without knowing the 65% in, uh, implied potential upside, the, 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 the whole positive outlook on uh, investing pro, great financial health condition. Uh, you know, I decided to enter the trade and it turned out to be a big, big winner. So again, you know, 
there's plenty of other opportunities uh, for, for us to look at in this uh, market in order to challenge uh, in, uh, you know, in order to navigate this challenging backdrop of, uh, you know, uncertainty surrounding the Fed uh, policy, uh, inflation, uh, geopolitical turmoil, rising energy prices. So again, having that power at your disposal is a real edge in this environment. And that's where uh, how I would now want to uh, really introduce this uh, special gift offer from investing.com. I did see some of you ask in the uh, question box, uh, will there be uh, you know, a, a discount? Uh, so yes, on top of the 40% discount uh, already being offered at the moment on Investing Pro, you get an additional 10% off using coupon code FAIRVALUE24. Uh, so on top of the 40% off, you get an additional 10% uh, off uh, on the Pro Plus two-year plan uh, using FAIRVALUE24 um, uh, coupon code. Now what you want to do is, of course, once you once you enter the sign up page, you'll see the uh, uh, apply coupon code box. Just type in fair value 24 and the discount is automatically applied. Um, you know, it comes out to and I did the uh, calculation 60 cents per day for the next two years, 60 cents a day for the next two years. Now, you know, not to guarantee, of course, but you'll most likely see a return higher than that in the first month alone uh, using uh, Investing Pro uh, and uh, the fair value models. Um, so again, uh, apply coupon code FAIRVALUE24. Uh, you will immediately see uh, your uh, discount in additional 10% off on top of the 40% uh, uh, being offered already at the moment. Uh, so really just an exciting opportunity for all you investors looking to gain an edge, uh, you know, kind of have this uh, AI assistant, if you will, do the hard work for you, uh, digging through the balance sheets and the earnings reports, uh, several different valuation models, um, you know, having that at the power of your disposal, whether it be at home on your desktop or on the go on your phone, just an automatic, you know, just a, a, a market beating tool uh, to have at, in your arsenal. So uh, yeah, I think we have a few more minutes here. I think, uh, you know, that was actually um, uh, a lot more due to, uh, well, let me see here. Yeah, there's a lot of questions here. So let's, um, let's dig into it. You know, let's, um, let's start already with the fair value in action. Um, let me share my screen. Um, does everybody see my screen right now? Okay, let's uh, start with uh, some of these um, requests. We're looking at, I was looking at Marathon Digital. Marathon Digital, of course, a, a Bitcoin miner, um, you know, one of the crypto uh, related plays. And, you know, what we see here, of course, is a high level of uncertainty. Um, you know, there is some downside expected here, but it seems like the stock is uh, pretty fairly valued. But the high level of uncertainty and just knowing that that Marathon, uh, you know, Marathon Digital, the, the price of the stock is highly correlated uh, to uh, the uh, price of Bitcoin. But see, just updated to 8.6% uh, downside. Um, you know, obviously, uh, someone did ask how often the uh, models are um, updated. So models are updated uh, daily, actually. Uh, models are updated daily, um, especially on a Monday morning when there uh, are some uh, developments or uh, new analysts uh, upgrades, downgrades, anything uh, which uh, comes into play. You know, for uh, Marathon Digital, uh, specifically, there are 11 models uh, taken into account, which, uh, you know, for, for, for the most part, the average here is, you know, if, if it ended at 1791 on Friday, uh, we see that most of the models here uh, kind of imply some uh, downside. Um, now, the beauty of, uh, you know, these models, and this is, uh, you know, if you do want to start digging in, 
you know, if you just uncheck, unclick a couple of these models, uh, and then you'll see a new target based on those models. Um, so again, you can very highly customized, uh, but again, if you don't want to do a lot of that hard work, just, uh, uh, you know, just type in, uh, see the fair value price. But again, you know, Marathon Digital, I'd, I'd, I'd steer, clear the, uh, steer clear of this one. Uh, you know, it is up 6% in the pre-market to 1957. Um, so I think that's why the uh, fair value downside got uh, uh, updated as uh, we spoke. Again, updated um, as of a, a minute ago. So Marathon Digital, a high level of uncertainty. Again, a couple of those names I would not want to uh, uh, delve into. Um, you know, let's look at, for example, a name like uh, Eli Lilly. Um, you know, obviously one of the uh, best uh, performing stocks in the market as well. Uh, the maker of uh, the obesity uh, weight loss drugs, and it's seen an incredible rally in its uh, stock price over the past year. Uh, Lilly is up 115%. 115% for a uh, pharmaceutical company, uh, you know, kind of kind of crazy. Um, so again, the fair value models here suggest over 25% downside, um, with a medium level of uncertainty, but that double-digit downside uh, potential. It yeah, probably makes this a name I would want to avoid. Uh, Starbucks from Pamela or Palma. Sorry, Palma. Thanks for the uh, request. Let's look at Starbucks. Also, uh, kind of trading uh, at a uh, again 50 near a 52-week low. If you look at the performance over the past year, then Starbucks is down 15% uh, in the past three months, uh, down 7% uh, since the start of 2024. So looking at the fair value upside right now, about 14% upside potential. Uh, you need to you know, take into account a company like Starbucks, a, a high quality name. Um, you know, obviously there's been some uh, worries uh, surrounding its uh, business operations uh, outside the U.S., uh, mostly in China. However, you know, it's a quality name with a strong history. Let's pull up uh, the pro tips. So, you know, fairly, it's, it's all bullish here, uh, painting a fairly positive picture, raising its dividend for 14 consecutive years. It trades at a low valuation at the moment. You know, RSI suggests the stock is in oversold territory. You know, doing all this in, in, in 20 seconds, finding out that both it's in oversold territory, trading at a low PE ratio, uh, you know, it's maintained its dividend. Uh, profitable, obviously, you know, Starbucks and, and profit uh, are synonymous uh, for, you know, 13% upside, solid or, or, you know, good financial performance, pulling up at the, uh, let's look at the dividends, you know, raising it for the past 14 years. Um, so, you know, for the most part, Starbucks is a company which I would be looking at at the moment. Uh, the fair value of uh, the financial health score uh, is all pretty high, except for scoring low on price momentum. Um, so, so yeah, Starbucks, uh, Palma, uh, a name which should be on our radar. I'll be adding this one, uh, to my, uh, uh, to my own, uh, watch list. Um, just because, you know, you, you need to ask yourself with, with some of these names, how far have, uh, uh, you know, these, uh, um, these sell off gone, um, you know, if, if it's not related to AI, a lot of companies in the market, uh, you know, we have, have just not seen the same level of uh, appreciation but if the market rally does start to uh, broaden out a lot of these names will probably uh, see a recovery in their share price uh what else do we see here um alvo alvo what is alvo alvo tech alvo tech not familiar with Alvotech. Who um, was this? Adelstein. Adelstein asked about Alvotech. Am I correct? Alvotech, um, let's see here, based out in, Lu in uh, Luxembourg. So it's a European based company. Uh, healthcare, you know, biotech. Again, um, you know, some of these names are highly volatile. So we do see that the level of uncertainty is high 27% um, upside potential. But again, this is only based on two models uh, which are applicable uh, to uh, this company. Um, weak performance overall, you know, scoring 
b- below average on pretty much every metric. Uh, you know, the performance over the past year has been, um, you know, kind of negative. What do the pro tips say? Oof, the pro tips, uh, you know, the um, painting a kind of a bearish picture for the most part, uh, you know, weak gross, po- weak gross profit margins, uh, not profitable over the last 12 months, trading at high revenue valuation multiples. That's all I need to know uh, regarding Alvo Tech. Um, so Adelstein, Adelstein, right? Did you ask that? Whoever asked that, uh, Alvo Tech is probably a name um, I would want to avoid in the current environment um what else do we see? thank you it's a great set. thank you very much isabel i appreciate that very much um what events usually affect fair value updates on the tool so um yeah like for the most part uh earnings report um you know if it's uh something massive uh, which really affects the future growth rates at the, the company. Uh, we'll then see uh, the fair value estimates uh, be updated in real time. Um, you know, so the, the 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 next morning, let's say the company uh, releases earnings after the bell on a Wednesday. So Thursday morning, uh, you'll already see the updated fair value uh, price, um, and um, you know very easily uh, see that the models are updated. I think I uh, mentioned that already daily. Um, please now, nav- please move on to how to navigate the site to show how to scan. Okay, let's you know it is kind of late already. I didn't you know we're running past an hour, but hey, this is this is how I do it. I pull up the uh, stock screener tab. Uh, this specifically is one which I was looking for stocks with downside potential. Um, uh, so again, you know stocks to avoid, uh, if you will, just pulling up this screener. Uh, I don't know if uh, can can everybody see this. Uh, you know, a lot of these AI names just really pop out. Uh, Micron, Coinbase, uh, Cloudflare, MongoDB, MicroStrategy. Uh, so again, a lot, you know, Robinhood is another name, CyberArk. So a lot of these tech-related names which have seen their stock rally, um, you know, just run up triple digits uh, in some cases over the past year. Uh, so the fair value models are signaling that the things are getting kind of frothy, especially in the uh, crypto-related and AI-related names. Uh, so for this specific uh, screener, I was looking at overvalued uh, stocks, overpriced names you would want to avoid. But uh, you know, I have this. Uh, you know, all you need to do is type in you know fair value upside, and you would see fair value upside greater than. Let's go big. Let's go forty percent. And uh, let's uh, remove the EPS revisions. Let's remove the health label. And let's just straight up see companies with a market cap greater than 10 billion with fair value upside of uh, greater than 40%. Now, only nine names come up. Only nine names. Only nine names come up. uh, And uh, a few of these are uh, based out in China. Um, You know, Alibaba, JD.com. Uh, Baidu, Yum China. So yeah, a lot of these names uh, are based out in China. Uh, so if these were the results that the screener pulled up, you know, I would I would kind of play with it again. Let's go with a 30%, and now it's already 31 names, and some of these names are 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 looking a little bit better uh, than uh, than um, the previous screener. So Comcast, uh, Altria Group. You know, PayPal, of course, you know, PayPal. Let's 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 pull a PayPal. Because I think you know, I am kind of bullish on PayPal's future prospects. Uh, that is a name, another one, uh, which uh, has been punished, you know, when you consider how far it has dropped in uh the past year. Um, you know, PayPal should be a name on your radar. L- low level of uncertainty. So the models predict, you know, the models are pretty sure that that. PayPal is undervalued by 30%. Uh, so upside potential of above 31%. Uh, average price 85.78 price target. It closed at 65 uh, as of uh, Friday. So we're looking at about $20 of upside potential. You know, good performance overall. Um, you know, the pro tips is 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 pretty positive. Um, trading a low PE ratio, very you know, it's it, it's it's widely considered a leader in its industry in its uh, sector. 
And, uh, you know, those are the type of names that you want to own. So uh, PayPal at a 30% discount looks like a good bet to me. Uh, you know, I've been in and out of PayPal uh, um, uh, during um, some points last year. And perhaps uh, this is a name which I would want to, uh, um, you know, perhaps buy now. Definitely take that into account. State Street. This is another one of those banks uh, taking, uh, you know, drawing inspiration uh, from the uh, Zion's Bank Corp trade from uh, late last year. Um, you know, State Street, what's going on here? 35% uh, upside potential. Um, you know, sounds pretty good. Now, taking a look at pro tips, we do see here a mixed bag. Uh, you know, for the most part, you know, when it, it, it looks like this, I'm not 100% in on the name. Uh, so I would probably pass on that. And that's all it took me. You know, it took me very, very short. You know, we saw about a minute per name. Um, let's pull up uh, last question. Last question. Let's go, guys. Uh, there's actually a bunch here, but um, they're all very, very good. They're all very, very good. So thank you all for, t um, uh, you know, answer, um, asking these questions. Um, let's look for one. We do here, does investing pro cover European markets? So, yes, yeah, someone, someone asked that. Um, you know, so for example, you know, let's say Novo Nordisk right now is, uh, you know, the biggest uh, name, um, you know, that's, that's the one where trading in Denmark, trading in Denmark, um, you know, the price, we do have it, of course, trading on uh, the NASDAQ as well, but for the most part, you know, 50% downside potential, um, you know, it's, Oh, this is Novu Resource. Novu Resources, my bad. You see, that's 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 how you can make a mistake and buy buy the wrong uh, uh, company. Uh, there's a lot of Novu, but yeah, we're going with Novu Nordisk. Um, they uh, they're actually compete with uh, Eli Lilly, which um, I just pulled up a couple minutes ago. Also, uh, highly um, uh, valued uh, to the upside, so overvalued right now. You know, probably a name. Just just look at this over the five years, 400%. Uh, the last year alone, 59%. Uh, so, you know, the stock has been one of the uh, main beneficiaries of the um, uh, Wigovi or Ozempic, uh, the whole weight loss drug phenomenon. But we do, see, you know, obviously there's a lot of positives going here uh, that, that the company has going. Uh, but just trading at some of these uh, high valuation models, uh, price to book and high earnings, probably a name which I would want uh, to avoid. Um, so again, you know, I, there, there, there are a lot more questions here. Uh, I didn't get to uh, each and every one, and I apologize uh, for everyone here who I did not get to their question, but we are running a, a bit late already uh, at uh, the moment. Um, so again, you know, just log into your Investing Pro account if you're a user. If not, you know, go sign up, navigate to the stock page, enter a stock ticker symbol, you get the fair value tab already. You can just customize it and rearrange it um, like this. Can everybody, can everybody see my screen going back and forth? You just customize, rearrange it, you know, have it any way you want, uh, that it be the first thing that pops up. Fin um, financial performance, uh, fair value, immediately, you know, you see that. You can then review the fair value insights, uh, the pro tips compared to the current market price. Um, if it's a stock that you want to uh, take action upon, you know, go your brokerage uh, account and uh, make a purchase. If not, you can set a price alert, add it to your uh, watch list, set a price alert for later on, and um, of course, uh, monitor that. So that's about it. You know, I think uh, we covered most of it. Uh, again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out um, uh, on the uh, website uh, or uh, on uh, Twitter, Jesse Cohen INV. Um, feel free to reach out uh, on my personal email account, jesse at investing.com. Uh, you know, I hope we all had a pretty informative session. Uh, I appreciate the kind words here from, um, from uh, Isabel, and I can't see who uh, sent this one. Great tool for thank you for the information. Thank you all for being such a great crowd as well. Um, you know, very, very engaging. Plenty of uh, questions. Hopefully, we'll be running another webinar even uh, where I just go take questions from the crowd and um, you know show you the full power of uh, Investing Pro and all its um, tools and features. Uh, so that's about it for uh, for me for today. Happy Monday, everybody! Uh, may the trading gods be with you. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.